In this video, I'm going to talk about these things that are hurting your art journey if, like me, you have the passion to achieve a lot, but instead all you feel is overwhelmed trying to accomplish everything and you feel stuck because no matter how you look at it, there is just not enough time. This is applicable to mom artists in particular as I myself have four kids and I know a bit about how difficult it is to manage everything when you can't really plan anything. But if you're a student or you have a full-time job or anything like that, you will relate to some of these things as well. Hi, I'm Françoise and on my channel, I offer tips and tutorials to paint realistically with watercolor, oil pastels, gouache and more. Now I'm going to let you in on what my experience has been so far and solutions I have found that are making my art journey more exciting and productive. Very quick background story first, I started creating again after a long hiatus while pregnant with my third child and I only got serious by my art journey and developing my skills in 2019 while expecting my last child and at the time I remember I didn't know if I would be able to make this work despite feeling very motivated to improve my skills. And I almost gave up to postpone all my exciting art projects, but I decided against it and went for it anyways, commenting to this channel, Instagram, and everything else for the long term. But I did make mistakes along the way, so here they are. The first mistake I made right from the start was to go all in and try to do too much throughout the day and take every chance I got to fit something in whenever the kids would be busy, for instance. Thing is, it's been hard to focus and get things done doing it that way because of the non-stop interruptions. To compensate those interruptions, I started working basically all the time, which I found is not only tiring, but can become very stressful after a while and unfulfilling because usually, at least in my case, when you start working on your own projects, the end goal is to lead a better and more balanced life. This is why even though we know that hard work is going to be involved, taking periods of rest is essential to keep going in the long run. We also know this, but it is so hard to do, isn't it? One of the hidden problems with working all the time is you may think unconsciously that you will have time for everything then, since there are no boundaries, and this doesn't help focus at all. It favors becoming scattered instead, which is, you guessed it, what happened to me. Setting more boundaries for myself has forced me to batch my tasks more, and this is working, because while I batch something, like making YouTube videos for instance, I am not distracted by the thought that I need to post on Instagram or something like that because I've already prepared my photos, caption, etc. and I get the job done easily since my mind is free. The second mistake I made till recently was to cling to my busy work like my life depended on it. This one doesn't relate to kids in particular, but it will probably resonate with anyone on Instagram. I was afraid of letting go of those things we know we are supposed to do every day. I was afraid of not being consistent enough because that's what we hear all the time, that consistency is the key on social media mostly. So for some time, I preferred staying stuck on the hamster wheel, doing those small tasks like a pretty post that is not that useful and that is going to disappear after a few hours anyways. In other words, I let myself act like I'm a slave of social media and I made it a priority, always when there are more useful things to focus on for the long term. For instance, put a real system in place for the long term for helpful videos like I hope this one might be, for instance. My things might not be yours, and that's for you to figure out what is important to you now. Maybe now for you it's important to post every day on social media to improve and to gather a community. But if like me you are in a stage where you feel and you know that you need to do more of something else, then you have to question what it is you are doing now and set your priorities straight. I noticed that the infernal cycle of creating, posting, creating, posting was also taking its toll on my mental health and confidence. I think that's something most of us can relate to and it took away from my drive and motivation to achieve my dream goals. This is hard to do, I know it, but what I would recommend if you are in this situation is to accept to break this cycle for a week or two or even three, and I did that, to do more of what truly matters to you now and to simply take a breather so you can come back stronger. And I'll link a video about the specific issue up here and in the description. This is tremendously freeing and I know long-term results will be there because this approach supports focus and consistency. 
The third mistake I made was to skip exercising and take care of my general well-being. I just felt it was one more thing to do, having things to do with my art, the house, and the kids. Skipping me time for sure ends up in a burnout, guilt, and discomfort. If you are feeling tired, moody, and stressed out, you know there is something you need to change. And after months spending working all day, every day, even during holidays, Christmas, New Year's, I started taking a few evenings off and going on regular walks and it helped a lot. And I now walk to school every day, a big win for me. It's a nice way to spend quality times with the little ones while exercising too. And this might not work for you, but there are other systems that you should be able to adapt your own life instead. And imagine feeling rested from a good night's sleep and refreshed from a morning walk. What better way to start the day and be truly in tune with your goals? To this day, I still don't get everything done all the time. My days aren't perfect and I still need to deal with frequent interruptions. I think that it's going to be that way for a couple of years still. But now I don't beat myself up anymore for it as I know this attitude towards work will benefit me and everything I do in the long run. I also freed some mental space as I used to feel guilty for not doing these things and thought a lot about it. That's another thing I realized is all the time we can be wasting overthinking or feeling guilty about what we don't do, but we know we should. Try and get rid of this weight so you can be more efficient. The fourth mistake I made was to forget to simplify. Complicated filming setup, complicated processes, small steps that could be skipped or optimized. Sometimes we don't realize this because we want everything to be so perfect and we can't afford to slow down anyways. So we think we just do it as we've always done it. And yet most times keeping it simple with more useful equipment or optimized and thought out processes does the trick. An example of this is as a mom, I can only film in daylight with minimum hassle while kids are napping. That means in the afternoons pretty much. Otherwise I have to do it at night when I'm tired and it has to be in the garage where all my lights are and there are a bunch of spiders in my garage, so I don't like it very much at all. I didn't want to do this several times a week. I didn't want to spend hours in my garage every night. And that's also why lately I was painting less. So what I did is first I admitted that, and then I got myself another tripod. Finally, a simple one that I can move around anywhere in the house, which makes me feel more motivated to make videos in the afternoon as I'm able to have a quick setup without the lights when the lighting is good outside and my kids are napping, so it's just perfect. I can get painting right away. When you find yourself procrastinating, think about why this is and what you could change or what you could be doing to make it easier and more agreeable to complete a certain task. I don't regret investing in my tripod, even though I already have two others, when I see how much more simple making videos and tutorials has become. So what can you simplify? Having kids home and a lot of uncertainty around the schedule, the fifth mistake I made was to always wait for the right moment. The right moment to exercise, the right moment to film, the right moment to paint, and the list goes on. And that's a big problem of mine. So taking the four previous steps was the fix to this problem, do less, let go of busy work, even if it means less consistency for a few weeks, that's okay. Nothing's gonna happen, it's fine. Start exercising again, and finally simplify. Chances are when you are a busy mom with constant interruptions that you have been making one or several of the mistakes I mentioned. And we really want to keep in mind that we need to be happy and healthy in the long run. That's all matters more than missing a few weeks on Instagram and losing a bunch of followers. Health and happiness are way more important. So this is why I hope this video sheds some light on what the problem might be, how to fix it. So you're able to turn things around by asking the right questions, by admitting what is giving you pain and take more care of yourself and coming to the painting or drawing station refreshed rested and ready to conquer. If you found this helpful, please let me know by liking, commenting and sharing so it can benefit more artist moms with too much to do for too little time. And if you're not yet subscribed, you may consider doing so and turn on notifications to stay up to date with all of my upcoming oil pastels, watercolor and gouache videos. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.